The High Court slapped Aisha Wang with a four-year, six-month jail term and a fine of 48,000 cities after it found her guilty of committing various mining offenses. Trial judge Justice Lydia Mafu explained the new legal regime which imposes stiffer punishment was passed in 2018 and 2019 while the crimes committed by the Chinese national took place between 2015 and 2017. Deputy Attorney General Alfred Chua Yobo expressed satisfaction with the decision. If you arrest someone and you, are, you charge him for committing an offense some time ago, if you are able to prosecute him successfully and he's to be sentenced, the sentence then should be the sentence that you can use. You cannot use the new regime. And so, so far, the sentence then was to the fact that if you imagine of five years, we think that's the right position of the law. We can also not amend our constitution at this stage, but that's the law even worldwide. At the time they commit the offense, the punishment there is what, what you are supposed to be given when you are convicted for that offense. We are we, we aware of it. That's why we came to court and we knew that the maximum that we could, we could get would be five years. Attorney General Godfrey Yabu Adami has, however, in a statement, served notice his office will be seeking a review of the sentence imposed. He indicates that his office wants the new sentencing regime applied by the court. The new legal regime allows the court to impose a minimum fine of 120,000 cities and a maximum of 180,000 cities on a person who undertakes a mining operation without a license. It also allows a minimum jail term of 15 years and a maximum of 25 years to be imposed. The Attorney General has meanwhile urged the public to desist from comments on the case which affects the administration of justice.